Right, hello, welcome back to the channel guys, and today we're going to be doing another um, PC uh, video, it won't be PC building, but we're doing another PC review, and it's on the new motherboards that have been released, the B550s, um, and I'm going to be comparing them to uh, B450s, and reasons why you should and should not get the B550. Now, um, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to say that I'm using the standard B550 section on MSI page uh, to explain everything on them and then I'm just going to have a look over the B450. Now there's uh, main sections on why we, why I want to say you should have certain things and why you shouldn't, blah blah blah. Um, other YouTubers have covered this previous but I just wanted to talk about this anyway. So um, yeah, so let's get into this, uh, try and make it a... a Fairly, uh, this video for you guys. So here we have the brand new B550s, which Ryzen, uh, which run on a Ryzen chipset, and uh, they look beefy. They look really, really nice. As you can see here, you've got this really nice looking motherboard, special graphics and everything because it's new and all that. But here we are. We have um, all the different bits and pieces. So you've got, yeah, I think they're running on DDR4 as usual. Uh, so you've got that, you've got your CPU slot as usual, you've got uh, your two graphics card slots, uh, so your PCIe's, uh, everything else as standard. I'm uh, pretty sure these boards uh, come as stock with Wi-Fi in the board, um, which is really, really useful if you don't want to be, if you don't have an Ethernet cable connection or you don't have a wireless adapter, really, really useful. Um, so yeah, the... They, they basically run um, all Ryzen series apart from, I think they don't run Ryzen 3. So they only run Ryzen 5, 7 and onward um, for the new Ryzen CPUs that are coming out. Um, so these are the, you can see how slick they look, how good they look. You've also got your um, M2 slot underneath here. Um, and so you can run an M2 uh, SSD on this board as well, obviously, as you would imagine. Um, so this is the Tomahawk version, and we are looking at Tomahawk version B450 as well, very well known as a, a for a, a motherboard. You got the Pro series, um, but yeah, so they've got everything that you usually would have. They've got uh, plus extra. They've got um, they've got like LEDs and blah blah blah. And, They've got, uh, some of them have Wi-Fi on them. As I said before, I'm not sure if they do all have Wi-Fi, but looking at this, they don't all have Wi-Fi, only some of them do. Uh, they've got the nice um, IO section with a fitted IO shield already there. So it looks really nice for the build. Um, obviously you've got plenty of space for a heat sink, whatever you want to use, plenty of space for your RAM, so whatever you want to run on it. I'm going to presume that their max running is 128 gig um for the boards but don't take my word for it they could vary based on the board that you get you could get a cheaper one or a new one um but these boards are definitely going to be a bit uh faster than your standard but um yeah so basically what i want to say is like i've already explained what's on these boards it's as standard apart from it can run the next ryzen cpu and they're a bit faster so you can see all these bits and pieces that you have and they look very slick and they look very uh neat and you can tell that they're new and their style is very slick and it looks nice you've got the name of the board on most of the boards which looks really cool i like the details are very nice now the pro series i'm going to presume is going to be the cheaper version of the motherboards then you'll go into uh, your uh, tomahawks and mortar boards and then you've got the carbon uh, gaming and the edge um, boards which are going to be the higher class ones so we've got different things we've got so it says it's got enhanced thermals on here um, you've got all aluminium cover and extended heatsink design um, uh, M2 shield which we've seen here where the M2 go and uh, strong solution for uh, um, strong power solutions and uh, PCB with two ounce thick of copper which means it's going to be running a lot faster than what you've got with your other boards um, and a lot more reliable 
Uh, you've got the lighting um, on the board as set. So as you can see, it's, it's obviously just talking about, sorry, not lighting, lightning, sorry. Um, so it's running on M2 uh, lightning speeds and uh, PCIe uh, speeds. Video decided to cut out, so we'll go from what I was saying. So yeah, we're on the lightning speeds. It's got a uh, fourth gen for M2 lightning speeds, fourth for PCIe, and uh, it's got a performance based uh, for DDR4 and uh, core boost. So basically it's saying that it can uh, put out um, when it's required to do certain things with the BIOS uh, or when it's uh, got to uh, send information to the CPU, then it can do that a lot quicker than uh, your standard and it shows more memory stability while overclocking blah 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 so you've got premium connectivity you've obviously got things like uh, Wi-Fi if you've got it fitted on the board of course um, you've got the BIOS flashed for the specific CPUs that are coming and so on and so forth and um, yeah so it's it all, all together the motherboards that have come out are incredibly good they're very very good and if you've got the money i would say get one i would say build one if you don't have the money for a new cpu then you can still get a cpu even a ryzen 5 3600 great cpu you can run that with this um but what i'm saying is there are some downsides to it the price um and certain things along the lines of uh, over um, over building or um, over compensating with the motherboard for what your build is you don't necessarily need one of these b550s no matter how good these certain people say on YouTube how good it is it doesn't really matter so uh, what I'm going to do is now I've talk, spoke about this let's go into look at the Tomahawk so you've got so what you want to do what i would say first of all is the main difference is the cpus that it can run now um this won't be able to the b450s won't be able to run the brand new cpus but it can run the third gen cpus unlike the 550 so the 450 has um compatibility with third series uh ryzen 3 ryzen 5 and ryzen 7 but it doesn't have compatibility with the next Ryzen that's coming out soon, which I'm thinking it's Ryzen 9. Don't take my word for it. It might be different. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the B450. Everyone basically knows what this motherboard is. If you're looking into building a PC, um, it's a very good board, very uh, very reliable. It's got an LED strip, and usual stuff. DDR4, I think it runs up to 128 or 64 gig. To be, to be honest, unless you're running a server PC, then there's no need for that kind of stuff. Um, then you've got a, um, like a large server PC, I mean. Then you've got the CPU that runs off of what I've said previous. Uh, you've got your PCIe slots, which run graphics cards up to the highest uh, graphics card compatibility that you gain. Uh, you've also got a, a, a m2 slot just here it hasn't got an m2 cover but you can always buy those i'm pretty sure you can buy m2 slot covers um so yeah you've got plenty of space for a graphics card uh, not graphics card a, a big cooler as well which is really good and uh the only difference really is it hasn't got a massive um uh cover for the io shield but that's really a design aspect um so and it runs a little it'll run a little slower than what you would with a standard um with your standard uh with your b550 but it's still very reliable and everybody has used a lot of people have used these in builds and what i would say is difference between these now for instance if you're getting a tomahawk and you need a tomahawk pro or a tomahawk tomahawk max sorry which is more reliably uh, safe to do for first builds and you don't have to do a BIOS update on the board then that's fine. You've got this board and it's safe if you get the max version but it can cause issues with the BIOS update. So if you don't want to do that stuff, you, I'm not saying you have to get a B550, you can get the Tomahawk Max which will not need a BIOS update guaranteed and you can run third gen Ryzen CPUs off of it straight off the bat. It should be fine. Um, but what I would say is that the difference between this is it's not going to be as fast. It's not going to be 
not going to have everything that you want and if you want to upgrade if you're looking into getting the brand new um, CPUs for Ryzen then uh, don't go this route but what I'm saying is you can still be running a PC that's a medium to high quality with a Ryzen 5 CPU and not have problems you can then upgrade into Ryzen 7 and still have the time to wait for the B550 to go down in price so you can buy that for a later upgrade in the future to then get the Ryzen 9 I think um, but it, sh it that's that is what you need to think about like do you think you're going to be using that board for the purpose that it's mainly there for to run the new processors if not what's the point why don't you get the tomahawk which can run a 7 a ryzen 7 cpu in your future so your system will be just as fast and there's no backward um not backwards there's no uh um uh, i don't think there's no way that these motherboards can't run the um graphics cards you want to be running on them i'm pretty sure this one motherboard can run every graphics card that you can think possible um and on top of that they also uh can run two graphics cards in dual i'm pretty sure don't take my word for it do a bit of research before you go into that kind of stuff um but it's not it's not an awful board you could go for this and save yourself a lot of money before going into a b550 um board and like not having that but i would say if you want to if you want to go for a quite a budget build if you're looking for a build like what i've been looking at 600 pound builds for people who don't want to go spending a grand on a build go for the b450 if you've got a grand or a little bit more 1.2 uh, 1 1200 pounds to spend on your um pc then go for the b550 because then you've got that future proof now i'm not saying you haven't got a future proof with the b450 but you've got more future proof with the b550 because in the future say about four years time when you want to upgrade your pc to a much more advanced uh cpu and you haven't got a ryzen 9 at this point then you can go ahead and get a ryzen 9 you can't do that with the b450 so it's just a uh, in hand in hand thing so if you want to get something that's um, going to be uh, budget to you and uh, help you purchase different things like a better graphics card go for the B450 if you've got the uh, the comfort room and the uh, the budget then definitely go for the B550 now like I said there's three different uh, well many different versions as you can tell there's four different versions of this one board and then there's three four different versions of this one board and then there's two different versions of this board now what i would say is that with those multiple versions what you can do is uh look through them and there might, might be something that's a bit more budget towards your uh range like i say the pro series is probably a lot cheaper than what the uh carbon series is out of those so there are budget versions of the b550 and you can go for that um, I'm pretty sure that um, I can't remember the channel uh, I think it's um, I can't remember it's a big PC channel it's something hardware uh, sorry for you guys who are a big fan of that specific channel but he has recently done a build with a B550 board that was under like $800 or something along those lines so that's a really budget build that uses a B550 so you can go and have a look at his build um, and how he does it and what he does but what I'm saying is this is this is the basis this is what you can get and these are the boards that you can get you and they can be a lot more reliable and a lot more future proof and a lot more slick and a bit better looking motherboard um, for a couple more uh, a bit more money and it could be a bit more future proof for you but if you are running a budget go for the b450 it's not a massive difference the only issue is that you're not going to be able to run the next ryzen series that's coming out and that cpu loan is going to be expensive so i'm saying if you're running a budget build and you're running for something that's going to be about uh like a, a, about a thousand pounds and you're not looking into upgrading to the next Ryzen CPU 
then what's the point? If you haven't got the money to buy the next Ryzen CPU, what is the point unless you're going to think about getting that in the future at some point? And that's basically what I'm saying because these CPUs aren't going to be cheap. Brand new CPUs, when they're released out of the box, off the shelf, they're going to be about £500, these new CPUs, or even more, depending on what the CPU is. I'm not too sure, don't take my word for it, I don't know what the new, brand new CPUs are going to cost, but they're going to be expensive. Everyone who's looked into building PCs or has been interested in PCs or has built a PC knows that CPUs are one of the most expensive components in the PC. So just have a look at the B450. You don't have to go for the most brand new CPU, just look at what you can get. And if you can get the B450, then that's good. If you can get the B550, there we go. That suits your that suits your build. But anyway, I am just saying that this was going to be a short video just talking about the B550 and its new release and what it has and the B450. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you didn't like the video, dislike. If you liked the video, like. Uh, comment down below whatever you like and please 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 subscribe because I know the people who watch these tech videos are more people who um, don't watch my videos uh, so uh, and they're not subscribed so please subscribe or watch my videos and check out my content and then like see if you want to subscribe after that because I do gaming videos tech videos and all kinds of stuff um, and also if there's any other series that you guys want uh, me to do anything like uh, playing a Minecraft series, playing um, some um, like recording of uh, highlight footage of League or uh, playing uh, Warzone or anything like that. If you guys want me to play any games along those lines, just uh, drop me a comment down below and I will have a think about it and see if I can fit that into my schedule of recording. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.